Welcome everybody, this is Dr. Eric Woodruff. I'm very excited to talk about a new technology I think has profound implications for the energy industry, particularly in 2016. And basically the idea is snap in ballast tree LED retrofits. If you don't know who I am, I've been involved in the energy field for quite a while. Most of the projects I've worked on have a very high return on investment. You can see over here I have some clients, I've written some books, and I've been involved with the Association of Energy Engineers as well as Buildings Magazine. I've had the opportunity to interview people such as Arnold Schwarzenegger, who I'd consider pretty progressive on energy policy, uh, Bill Clinton, as well as Condoleezza Rice, and I've enjoyed working with all of them. We talked about energy policy or other things uh, at major energy conferences. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about this particular opportunity. And my agenda today is to basically go through the general concept, show you some photos, how this works, how to install this, and the return on investment. Okay, we originally talked about this idea in Buildings Magazine, I think it was February of 2015. And in April of 2016, there's gonna be a, a revised article that talks about high bays. But here's the general concept of this. This is a typical four lamp, uh, two by four fixture, you'd find them all over the world. <laughs> but in the United States, um, you may have some T12s, you may have some T8s. The idea is to open the lens, rip out the lamps and the ballast inside the fixture, leaving only a metal box with the power wires coming into the fixture. So there'd basically be an empty box with three wires coming in. What you do after that is you install basically these LED light wands, and I'm only gonna draw two in here because that's how they work. The incoming power connects to one of the ends of these, and it's an LED strip that magnetically sticks into the back of the fixture. And then you have a little jumper whip wire that connects this one to the other LED wand, which you can connect, I think, 20 or so of these together in a daisy chain fashion. But two LED wands or LED tubes will basically replace four T12 or T8 lamps. And you can see down here some pictures of before and after, but I'll give you some close-ups of that in a minute. Another great feature about this retrofit is you're getting rid of a lot of points of failure. In the original system, you have four lamps and you also might have ballasts. Plus you have the lamp holders on the end of these. All of these are plastic parts, which tend to fail when you do retrofits on fixtures that might be 10 years old, lamp holders might break. These new LED tubes, if you will, basically do not have ballast, they connect to line voltage, and you could stick them magnetically in here. They're slightly shorter than the regular pin-based fluorescent tubes, and you don't even they don't even have any pins. So they just stick in there without even having to deal with the lamp holders at all. Altogether, you can save about 100 watts per fixture in a typical office environment, which yields a pretty good payback. This is a close-up of a diagram. This is the incoming power coming in. It has a little connector, which you would connect on, say, the end over to this end. And you can see on the other end, you have this jumper whip, which goes into the next LED tube. Basically, you have these two tubes, one and two, in one fixture. Or you could have four in one fixture, which we'll talk about in the high bay in a minute. You could also replace strip fixtures by having a very short connector whip, which puts these end-to-end -end very nicely. Again, they have magnets. They just basically snap in. There's no ballast point of failure. Here's what our fixture looked like before. In this case, it was T12, so we had quite a lot of watts in that fixture. And this is what it looked like afterwards. And you'll notice, and this is interesting because we didn't clean the lens or anything, the, the amount of green color that existed in the T12 uh, existing fixture. And when it was retrofitted, the occupants liked this much better over here on the right, notice the watts are much less, about 100 watt savings, and notice the foot candles going from 50 to 55 foot candles, actually more light with a higher CRI. And if you've watched our other webinars at PGS, you'll find out what CRI means. But basically on a scale of one to, one to 100, this was a much higher scale in the 80s. So that was great. This is another picture of the LEDs in place. It looks pretty sharp. People really liked it. The lighting is sufficient, blends in very nicely. We've had zero complaints. I've had this in a client's uh, office for over a year now. In a high bay example, say a person is down here, the fixture is up, you know, hanging from the ceiling. You find this in Walmart, Sam's Club, et cetera. And you might have a fixture that has maybe four uh, fluorescent tubes in it. They could be T8s, they could be T12s, doesn't really matter. And you might have one or even two ballasts sometimes on top of these fixtures. Again, the idea of this retrofit is to remove all of these lamps, remove the ballasts, and basically stick in these LED tube strips and connect to line voltage. In some cases, you don't even need to put in four LED tubes. Sometimes you can just put in 
three. But I ran economics on plugging in four, so we'll stick with that. But this is a great way to retrofit a fixture. Because you're not replacing the whole fixture, this is somewhat of a lighting maintenance thing, which means you can write off the retrofit as an expense, which has a tax advantage we'll talk about later. But this is the general idea. If these were T12 tubes or T8 tubes and you go to these LEDs, you're going to save roughly about 100 watts per fixture while removing several points of failure with the ballast and the lamp holders, etc. Let's take a look at the economics. This is for the high bay. Uh, I just plugged in some numbers um, and say it's about $185 per fixture to retrofit one of these. You're going to save about $50 a year. For the energy people listening, I calculated that at 3,000 hours a year, 10 cents a kilowatt hour, and $7 per month in demand. You may pay more or less than that, but I feel that's pretty conservative, only 3,000 hours a year. So $50 a year, if you look at that, that's about a 27% ROI or a 3.7 year payback. Not too bad. But let's take it one more step and take a look at the after-tax implications, particularly in 2016. The utility rebates basically reduces this number by $10. And then you have special tax deductions, which if you write this off as an expense, you can write off the whole $185 per fixture expense in year one. But you might also be able to claim some other special tax benefits between 90 and $270, depending on how much of the tax credit you can get. It's $1.80 per square foot. Now, I only claimed 60 cents per square foot in this example because it's lighting. So if I ran the numbers on this, it'd be about $90. And if you look at that 90 plus um, the 185, and if you take that as tax deductions worth about one third of a tax credit plus the $10, you drop your simple payback down to 1.7 years, and this becomes a 60% ROI. Now, if you were able to do a higher deduction of the 270, you can see that this can run into 100% ROI very quickly. But I'm just trying to be conservative to show you the value of this. Okay, a couple more pictures, and then we'll finish this up. This is a strip application of high bay. This is before, and you can see you know, what that looks like. And this is after. This is the LED. Notice the nice straight line, end to end. Looks pretty clean. And if you compare before to after, this is before to after, you know, the lighting levels are very comparable if not improved and the color rendering should be equal or better and the savings again are significant for four lamps it's about 100 watts per fixture now I want to keep this somewhat commercial free there are several companies that make this kind of technology or, or different variations of that if you can't find that online send an email to this address and we will forward uh, your information to the manufacturer that might work best for you depending on your location but I just want to get across the technology I think it's awesome I think it's a big game changer in the way of using retrofits to significantly reduce the energy uh, and take advantage of the tax deductions. So anyway, I'm very excited about this. I hope this helps many people, and I hope it continues to help you save lots of energy in 2016. Thank you.